Hello, this is John from River for Interior Designers. Today we're going to take a question posed by one of my students. How to embed a standard door into a curtain wall panel, which typically is not possible. So, let's take a look at a workaround and we'll make it happen. a quick little demonstration of a workaround to deal with curtain wall doors. If we go to 3D, here you'll notice that uh, I've got a, a curtain wall system set up here and, and there's a panel right there. I can use tab to find it. Tab, select, and that's glazing. That's a system panel and it's called glazed. And currently here it's depicted as glass. So we all know that if we go to plan view here and we have a panel, a system panel, and we try to use the door command, it won't accept it. So typically in order to place a door within this panel, you have to select the panel using tab. Once it's highlighted, you can edit type. And you can load a curtain wall door into that location. Otherwise, it may be listed here under the wall types. Now let's say it's not loaded here currently. So you can go to edit type for that panel, load, and then find a door. And unfortunately, uh, you have to be a specific type of door, a curtain wall door. And Revit only gives you sort of these three options here. So let's say, for example, you want this one here. You hit open, hit OK. That door is now loaded into Revit. It replaces this panel. And going forward, you can find it by simply selecting the panel again. And now you can find it here under the wall types. It's located right there. There's a family and there's a type. But as it turns out, if I'm using standard doors, if I go to the door command here, and I'm looking at my standard doors here, and I decide to load a family, you'll notice that under the door directory here in your families, US Imperial doors, you can see there's a great many other types of doors. I mean, there are some glass doors, some frames, and wood doors here, but there's also a commercial directory here and a residential directory. If we go to commercial, you can see here, there's other types of doors. And it may be that you might want a door that's here, and these are all standard doors, and you need to use them in your project. So for example, this door here. It'd be nice if I were able to use that door in my curtain wall panel, but it being a standard door, it won't allow it. So if I load that door into my project, hit open, for, for example, choose seven by seven, hit okay, then I've, I've loaded that door into my <coughs> that family here and it's got an 84 by 84 inch door. But again, we all know that if you, even if this got converted back into a panel, for example here, a glazed panel, and then you try to put that door here into this clay panel, I won't allow it because that's not a standard wall. It's a panel, system panel. So the workaround is to select this and transform it into a wall because if it were a wall, walls accept standard doors. So that panel can become any wall type, including things like a generic five inch wall. And if it were a generic wall, any door would work. So for example here, I can place this door here and suddenly the door gets embedded in the wall because the panel is no longer a system panel, it's a wall. Obviously here you got the issue with the door frame and what have you. But we'll work around that in a second. Let's, let's delete this door. And rather than that door, I'll use the door that I intended, which was this door, 84 by 84. I'll put it here. And you'll see it sort of places itself in the right position because I've made sure that I had an elevation, a seven foot opening and a seven foot height, which means the door itself fits within those confines, those dimensions, DI. Give me a, a, a dimension from here, hit tab to find the edge. Go to this edge, hit tab, find the edge, click seven feet. So this door is in fact seven feet by seven feet. This opening is seven feet by seven feet. Do a distance here to the ground seven feet but it came with this frame so although I might like the door 
And if you want to see all of the hardware, simply change your level of detail here to fine. And it just so happens they placed all the hardware in the fine level of detail, and it's invisible from coarse and medium. But there's a door embedded in the in the curtain wall, but it has this goofy frame. So simply select that family. And I suggest you edit type duplicate it, make it your own. I'll call it John's Curtain Wall Door as an example. I hit OK. I've got a new type. I've already set up the measurements here to be the correct size of the door. Now all you have to do is simply open the family and delete the frame. So let's select the family here. There's the door family called John's Curtain Wall 8484. Edit the family here and navigate to the elevation view, which is here. Exterior, for example, or interior. This is going to be kind of hard to read. 3D views, preview, for example. That one doesn't hide all the, all the measurements and what have you. But in the front elevation, simply delete what you don't need. I don't need this door frame. Delete. I don't need that hardware. Delete. I don't need this. Delete. And you're left with the door. Do not erase this. This is a door opening. It's required to place a door in the wall. But this is the door itself. So let's see what happens if I load this into my project. I'll load this back into my project here. Load into project with these revisions. I update, overwrite the existing. So I've got a family here called 8484. I'm bringing in an 84 by 84 door. They have the same name. It asks me to overwrite because there's a conflict. I'm going to overwrite it and accept this error message. And lo and behold, the frame disappeared. It's no longer in the family. I've erased it from the family. Now the last thing you have to do is you'll notice in plan view it's a little it's a little incorrect here because even in plan view there's my mullion right there for the curtain wall and here's the the mullion right there for the door and it's sort of embedded here right there so it might not be appearing in in 3d but it is appearing in plan view and we're going to want to not allow that to happen an elevation you see it looks fine the extra frame is not here so let's go back to the family, select the family, edit the family, and let's find it. Go to plan view. Here's a floor plan. Here's reference level. This is what a family looks like and all the data and information is inside here. So we're going to hide all this information because it's kind of maybe overwhelming to anyone who's seen this for the first time. So let's go to VG, visibility graphics, and here under annotations, which are all the notes and dimensions and parameters, just simply hide them all here. There's the drafting. So here, if I made this solid, shaded, for example, you can see there's some door frames hiding in this area here. Simply delete them. Choose that object, delete. Choose that object, delete. In that case, this one here, delete. Maybe this one, delete. Delete. And what you're left with is the edge of the opening right there. Now, you ignore the fact that there's a, an abundance of details going on here for the actual door itself. But having gotten rid of all the door jams and details here at the jammed locations, load it back into your project, update it yet again, and return to your floor plan and see what happens. And you notice here, the jams are gone. Those details are missing. This is the opening it thinks it needs, but again, I'm not really using it. It's invisible. And the door is sitting, it's residing inside of that door opening. And now you have a door that was a standard door embedded in a curtain wall by simply removing the head and jam details around the door itself, both in plan and in elevation in 3D. And you can always test that by opening the family, launching a 3D view, and inspecting it, and making sure that here 
you only have the door itself. This is a dummy wall. This is a dummy opening. We're, we only care about the door itself and none of the detailing goes around it. You can, if you like, decide here to save this file, save as family, if you need to use it at some later date. But obviously, I can also close it and just ignore the save. We don't want to save it. This project has this family loaded into it. So I can use that yet again elsewhere. And because it's not a curtain wall family, you will have to click on the door, edit its type, and adjust these measurements to make it fit within a standard panel opening because they have to match the size of the door. That's the only drawback to this method. But that's a quick, easy fix if you pattern the opening and the panel size to match the size of the door itself. And that's it for this short tip.